a lot of you have been asking me how I graded this particular video. Before I start, I want you to know I'm not a pro colorist, but these are some few tricks I learned to make my images look better. This is my timeline. Um, if you want to know how I switch to uh, my color space, you come here, you go to workspace and then you change the color and effect. So this is what you have. On the regular, this is what you have, but then I want to have only my vector vectorscope and then my waveform so i'll change this to two and then have this but instead of luma i would go for rgb parade that is my basic setup let me just turn this off so you can see so this is my basic setup so now i have to build the look first of all i have to go to my color inspector and when i go here i'll create a new correction so this is the new correction they have, the color adjustments. I really like this. I'll explain why. Final Cut 10.8 has this feature that I really like, which is about the, um, the enhanced light and color. It's a really good tool that I think everybody should use. What it does is that it helps you to balance your shots. It won't give you everything accurately, but it gets you close to white balance. So when I click on this, and boom it gives me some details in my saturation and some details in my highlights mid-tones and some details in my shadows as well and it even brings you some colors you can work with ideally this is supposed to give you like a final look but then this adds, adds like a startup for me when i am about to grade so i'll keep this as my base i'll change this and make it base now i'll create another inspector correction another correction and um, will you go to color wheels and let's name this saturation and contrast i'll explain later or let's just have this as saturation let's go back and create another one another color wheel let's name it contrast I'm doing this because I want you to know which correction effects you should use when you want to do any changes in saturation, contrast, or even in the baseline. So to add more contrast, I go back here. And what I'm going to do is bring down, let me pick a hero shot. So this can be my hero shot. So what I'll do here is bring down my shadows a little bit more. Yeah, somewhere around here, you can see on the par parade make sure it's not going below zero it can be on the the line but not below because when it goes below you'll be crashing your blacks see so you are losing details in the sh in the shadows which we don't want that so it's either you keep it above or right on the zero which preferably that is okay so you can still see there are details in the shadows you can still see details there they're actually clean details so now i'll go back to um my mid-tone bring the lights down a little and then my highlights a little bit down as well so if i go up bring up the exposure and then bring this down a little more so let me push more the more of the contrast because i think i need more contrast in this so i go a bit down more to the mid tone so i can have it in i think i like what i have now so let's go back to the saturation i open the saturation tab and what i do is increase the saturation of the global first to see how it's going to look like so when i push it up there you go and boom just like magic you can have everything clean so let me show you the before and after you can see a big change in the before and after so before and after before and after that's that's really solid so you go back 
So this you can keep and this can be your final project. You can send this out to a client. They'll love it because it's clean. But then I have a look that I always like to put on my video. I'm going to add my LUTs to it. So I go to LUTs, I search for LUTs, add custom LUTs and select the LUT you want to have. For me, I already have the LUT, so I will just select it from my software. So my LUT is four, I select the four, and boom, that's the look. So if if we have this, you can saturate, you can do, say, reduce the mix. If it's too much, you can see before and after, before and after. So, um, you can reduce the look you can see when i bring down the mix and i bring it all the way up it looks very clean yeah so you can keep this or you can choose to create your own look so when you get here so let me just turn this off when you get here and you feel like you want to create a look that's awesome i can show you how to do that create a new um, color wheel I like to use color wheels a lot because I'm used to um, logs and primaries in DaVinci so in my color wheel I can come to my midtones and move this towards the green right somewhere about here and come to um, my and push it to the to the to the blues somewhere around here is okay and maybe I can just say do something like close to, so move it to the green some more or maybe to the blues as well because why not yeah I can also move this as you can see yeah somewhere around here somewhere around here so soften it a bit increase oh too much so yeah i can have this as another look so you see before and after it's close to what i did but with more less contrast so this is this before and this is after so yeah and when i click this this is how i want it to be you can mute the blues, you can mute the blues and then the greens. And this is how you can do that. When, let me turn this off, turn this on. Go to yeah, hue versus saturation curve and come to hue versus luma. Select the eyedropper to select the green and you bring it down. So you can see how demon is looking so before and after before and after so that's all for today if you enjoy the kind of content i create don't forget to click the like button and if you're new here as well don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next one